everyone, this is Uzi Vlogs and welcome back to my channel. And I'm back with another, um, let's say, not, this is not a reaction video. But what I'm going to do now is I will try to watch this uh, clip that has been going around. And um, this is uh, not an issue, but then uh, there's a new name, new name that is uh, popping out and it's called Beyond Zero. And then I wanted to know uh, if it's true that they're being compared to SB19 and what their caliber is regarding music and regarding p-pop all right and i'm gonna make my my opinion and my reaction uh basing on what i know and what i can see all right um so we're gonna go ahead and to it i just wanted to know is beyond zero as per some of the the clips or some of the issues that i've been hearing about it's as good as sb19 all right, we'll find it out. All right, before everything else, guys, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Click that bell, leave some comments, and click the like button. So here we go. Who and who is Beyond Zero, by the way? Let's find it out. All right. Um, let me get into it right now. All right. We will start with some of the videos that I'm going to find, and I will try to share it with you guys. Okay. Let me see. Okay. And even the channel of Vera Wang says uh, SB19 is being compared to the new P-pop boy group Beyond Zero. Okay. We'll see. I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. Here we go. Okay. So I'd like to give you a shout out to everyone. Um, guys, um, this is my opinion, all right? This is my opinion. I'm not here to undermine anyone. It's just like I wanted to know who's being compared to SB19. And I'm really curious about this group right here. All right. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's go first with the video coming from Vera One's channel. Don't let a sneeze knock you. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay, let's try to do this. Okay. Beyond zero. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just pause my background music right there and we'll get into it. Okay, now here we go. Let's watch this. New Peep Up Group Media Con. As you can see in the header, it says. First question ko po, pag isagot. I would like oh. to answer that. Uh, ayan, good afternoon po sa inyo. And ayun, as all of you know that we are actually TikTokers before all of this happened. And we really think that the fans, we may lose some. We may lose some fans once we have a single already, but we will gain more. And we believe that. Ayun. So the more na pagsisikapan namin to, the more confident we are about our brand and ourselves we know that we can actually make it. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Ay, ito yun naman. <laughs> may, uh, may question is also... Uh, the reboot, pay, Beyond Zero. Gusto nyo sagutin mo na lang, Andre, yung ano ang pinagkaiba or... Uh, ano, uh, no. ano, ano ang meron sa Beyond Zero kumpara sa SB19? Palagay kasi, di ba, sabi mo dyan, pangarap po ang global para po maging global yung dating ng Beyond Zero, ano ang meron kayo, ang Beyond Zero, na wala sa SP90? Oh, that question is gonna be really, really tough. You know? Um, I would say that they, the boys were put into a very, really, really tight situation right there. And it's not because I think um, probably whatever they're gonna say is 
they wanted to say it, but because of the question that was put onto them, the question is really, it's really striking, and it's gonna create um, a noise. And and here the problem is, they were pushed to answer that question, but hopefully, their answers is gonna be okay. All right, I'll find it out. All right, let's see. Okay, but um, as we all know, SB19 has the K-pop influence, the Korean influence. But we Beyond Zero came from the dance community at first hand. And kami, we have the hip-hop influence, and we're very proud of that. And we really think na yung pagiging part namin ng hip-hop community, hip -hop community yung magiging right? namin ng edge to go global. Oh, so hip hop, so they yeah, go also, rap and all that I would stuff. Like to add also, um, there were hesitations to take Beyond Zero from the beginning. It's because, siempre, um, we are a very conservative country, and this is the first time that the boy group na meron talagang out, and we are proud of that. And because of that inclusivity. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So this is I said, like first boy group, I and mean, like it's not they're not the first boy group. Okay. They're the first boy group who have confirmed that some of them are actually gay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard of this. I haven't heard of this. Uh, someone really confirmed that. But actually, probably they're not the first one. But they're just like the first one to say and saying it out loud. Okay. All right. Let's play. And uh, diversity. I think makikita ng mga Pinoy at makikita ng global fans na pwede pala. They can, they can do it also. Pwede pala nilang magawa yan. And uh, we saw that there's a lot of, of LGBT influencers also that may, that's making their names. So, ito yung unique sa Beyond Zero and yung roots niya ng, uh, ng P-pop at saka Pinoy talent and Pinoy music. Lalong lalo na we're working with a lot of really good artists para sa Beyond Zero. And we're very excited tuon sa kanilang single because meron na. And maririnig nila yon doon sa ating digital concert. Maraming maraming salamat kay Quest. Ayan. Thank you po. Okay. Quest? Oh! Oh, wow! Wow! Quest? Alright. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Alright. Um, if for, for some of you that doesn't know, uh, Quest is one of my favorite singers as well. One of my favorite R&B singers. Probably one of the best in the Philippines and R&B singer you know I'm and I'm not sugarcoating anything here listen to his music if you haven't seen Quest if you haven't heard Quest even pakinggan nyo pakinggan nyo yung kanta ni Quest guys it's one of the best there is and if si Quest ang isa sa mga um, uh, behind the new song ng Beyond zero. Oh, it could be this is comics could be something great. All right. Um now going back to the um, to the question a while ago, I think it's pretty safe. The one that they have said, I don't know when uh, when they're being asked, um, go, um what do they have? Uh what do they have that SB19 didn't have? They didn't actually answer that. Which is for me is good. Because you cannot compare yourself to SB19 out of due respect to to the first and the king of pop king of p-pop do not compare yourself <laughs> you're gonna be in deep 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 situation you know um and that's really good beyond zero whatever your answer is they made it safe they they they, they said it really safe and i'm glad that they did you know because I was really intrigued with some of the uh, the videos, um, titles that I've been looking into, it's like being compared, and yeah. So now I now now I've seen part of this video, so really, really good. Or right, okay, I would say keep it that way. Keep it that way. All right. Okay. No harm. No harm for me, in my opinion. Um, they just making out. Um, you know, they just want to make their debut strong, you know, like uh, putting out words. But I would say um, the one who uh, questioned uh, is 
um, probably they, he, he or he he just wants to 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 know how confident these guys are, all right? Because as we know, SB19 is the greatest name in P-pop, right? Okay, so here we go. Well, I'll continue again. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations, Olet. And uh... okay, that is the uh, the video from the, um, what do you call that? A oh, Vera Wang's channel. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let me go into some of the some of the videos and find out. Find out. I think that's the only video that they have, and that was that actually created a stir in the community, especially with eighteen community. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything anymore. It's just because it created a little bit of a stir. All right, nothing, nothing really big. Uh, but that interview right there. Okay, let me see their performance. Biahe says here on Vera Wang's channel. Oh, Vera Wang's actually pretty much, I think, is a follower of. Do you want to grow your YouTube? Uh, follower of uh, these boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Beyond zero. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So what are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? I don't I don't really see it as it was a it was there was a harm there. I didn't actually for me it's it was okay. It was an okay interview. It's not really that striking and all that stuff. Right, so for me, uh, it was just a plain interview, make a name for themselves. Right, correct. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna watch the their performance, first public performance, PI, coming from the same channel. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Beyond zero. All right. Yeah. The the audio is really really bad, so I really couldn't uh, make the most out of it. Anyhow, I know that I know that song, Biahe. So uh, hold on, maybe I'll can I'll find something else. Maybe I'll find something else. We'll see. Mm -hmm. That's the only video that they have. That's the only video that they have. Another thing. Okay. How can I react on to their video? I think there's nothing to react on to because they only have one video, which is really, really bad um, in terms of recording. And so I cannot really listen to the performance with voice quality per se. And I wouldn't react on to that because it's going to you know, like cloud my judgment towards their performance, towards towards my reaction because I couldn't hear it properly. And these headphones are really, really good. You know, I would be able to hear every single bit of note <laughs> if it if the uh, if the quality of the video or the the voice quality is gonna it's um uh, you know up to the par. Uh, so at the moment I will not be able to comment on that. Uh, but I'm just gonna um, finish this one right here uh, regarding those stir that came out lately and saying that um, the Beyond Zero group uh, P-pop is being compared to SB19. Um, I would say um, nothing, nothing really like um, shakens me up. All right, it's. It's just like a new P-pop group. Just they want to make their names. Hopefully that they're um, they're really good as um, 
as they say so i mean they're they're confident about it hopefully that um um they will succeed as they wanted to and um, you know make their name towards the industry so yeah um i don't have any videos uh to really watch i cannot find any beyond zero video performance so i'm gonna stop it right here and i'll just say that of course um for for those upcoming groups um i know I, and i think they're careful too being compared to sp19 it's not gonna be that easy i mean like, there's a lot of of steps there's a lot of things to prove before you can even reach that part on sp19 so uh for beyond zero um i hope you guys make it um you know like uh hope you guys uh fulfill your dreams all right but uh it's still a beginning for them and let's see their first single as i've said uh if it's quest behind uh is behind that video or the the music it could be something it could be something all right so that is it for my reaction how about you guys Which, how do you like um what, what are your thoughts regarding that interview i didn't see any harm to be honest you know just plain interview they answered it plainly not really um you know comparing themselves so they didn't they didn't compare themselves they were just it was just like a question coming from one interviewer which actually you know like um, you know it will it will uh um it's so tense you know so it's like it will create um a tense um you know feeling you know right uh but they didn't but they didn't and they didn't answer it really bad i would say so okay i would say that's that's a, that's an okay interview all right nothing to worry about okay so uh that is for my um short uh comment for today short <laughs> it was a very long uh video already so hopefully guys uh you guys uh chill out there all right and we'll find it out really soon beyond zero i'm gonna wait for your single and i'll make a reaction on that all right um as I've said, I'm I'm here to watch the peep up grow. I'm here to watch all of the groups and react onto the groups. So here we go. And another one upcoming beyond zero. All right. But for me, as I've said, SB19, vote for them MTV Music Awards. They have been nominated MTV Europe Music Awards as the Southeast Asian Act of the year and please vote for them all right so again you know keep on voting we're gonna make it once more this is uh your cool is 18 Uzi vlogs see you guys real soon goodbye